Here's a TR4 that I bought a while back, and I've been collecting these Drake radios. So anyway, it looks like some nice, nice lucky person bought this radio, and I want to give it a final checkout to make sure that he or she is happy and to prove the radio works the way it's intended to work. So what I've been doing is testing calibration on all the bands, and we're in calibration mode here. This is a TR5 Drake again, or TR4, I'm sorry, TR4. And so I'm on 10 meters now. And I'm on calibrate. I'm on, well, no, I'm at 80 meters now. Okay, we'll start at 80 meters. And there's 80. So at 390, I should get a calibration mark. There it is. Move the scale. And to calibrate these, you want to, with two hands, hold it and move that dot, which is hard to do when you're holding a phone. All right, so let's do this. Calibration track on 80. You want to get this arrow to match this arrow here. So to do that, you put the arrow up, you turn the knob, hold the other knob and turn the inner until you get a zero beat on 80 meters here. And that assures now that we're lined up. So you line up this scale and your major frequency number here. And then it should be calibrated for 80. So now let's check it out. Go down to 380. And you can hear it marking in there. 370. So it's pretty close. A little bit of adjustment for down band, I guess. There we go. 360. So on these TR4s, it looks like it's a 100 KC calibrator. So let's check 40 meters now for calibration. There's 40. 7.10 should have some calibration. So 40 is a bit off from 80. Let's tune that in. And move the uh, dial here. There we go, looks good. Seven, uh, this is 40 meters, 7.20, should have a marker. There it is. 7.30. Marker. A little off, but that's how these drakes are. Okay. Let's go now to uh, 20 meters. Okay, we'll mark it in. Slide it. There we go. Looks good. Good, 15 meters, calibration test. 15 is a 21 scale here. Looks good. Yep, okay, let's go to 10. 10 meters is a little 
It works, but it's a little difficult with the calibrator. This thing actually receives good on 10. Okay, there's the calibrator there. Can't quite reach it. All right, did calibrate, but not greatly. Let's take a look now at general usage. So I'm gonna to go to receive now on 80 meters and see what we can hear on here. Eighties receiving, but the band's dead. Let's try band. Let's try forty meters. So 40 is working, but it's dead. Nobody on. Try 20. 20 is alive, I think, right now. There we go. Okay, so 20 looks pretty good. 15 meters here. So 15 looks pretty good, and 10 is always dead. Although I do get some weird stuff on here as per usual.
Okay, that concludes our receive test. And all I have for transmitting testing right now is a light bulb. I don't have a decent dummy loader watt meter. Those are in order, but they're not here yet. So I'm gonna try this trusty light bulb again and see how this thing does. Okay, so for transmitting test, gonna go back to 80 meters. Off calibrate here, let's see, yep. Okay, 80 meters, you wanna be in the X mode here. We're on X there. Transmit gain's down. Let's put the load down, plate in the middle. Okay, that's about it. Get the light bulb connected and see what happens here. I checked this radio out a few months ago and it was pretty good. I don't have any good way to ground this light bulb though. Alright, so holding the light bulb in one hand here. Gonna do a quick check on 80 meters here and see how it works. SSB. So to tune these, you could start like in the middle of the band somewhere. 3.8, 3.7, 3 3.6, 3 okay, 3.8 is about in the middle. There's 3.8 on 80 meters. You want to peak this for noise. I have no antenna on here, but there's more noise there. That'll get your drive where it should be. Now, keep this gain down. Go to the CW mode here. Give it some drive. There it is. Dip the plate quickly. And uh, load it. Okay, we got power on 10. We got power on 80. Um, light is lighting. You don't want to go too long on this. Boost the power, give it one big hit. Lots of power on 80, so. Got lots of light from the back of this rig. I guess the phone can't pick it up. Let's see here. Okay, there's the light. I wonder if I can get it to, uh, guess not, okay. So 80 has power. Let's go to 40. Peek it. I'm just gonna try to dip it real fast. Whoa. We got power in 40. 20. About there. A little more load on 20. That's way too high. Down a little bit of current. Dip it fast. A little more load. A little less load. More drive. There, yep, yeah, we got power in 20. Okay, that's enough. You don't want to tune these things a lot. You just want to get it right and turn it off. Sideband won't have that much effect in the finals because it's uh, it's a continuously variable duty cycle, but CW is hard on the finals. Okay, 15. There it is. 15 and 20 dip about the same. Drive down, CW. Drive it up, dip it. There's a dip right there. A little bit of power. Give it a crank. So there's power on 15. I won't say it's a huge amount, but we got it. There's 10. 10 meters is, a, is the most difficult band to get power out of on these drakes. 
Let's give it a try. Huge drive. There's a dip. Yep. Wow. Got some power on 10 here. This thing might need a little bit of neutralization work. But looking pretty good. All right. Okay. That concludes the test. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.